I think rural Ireland is deeply challenged at the moment. I think there are, there's a lot that we can talk about in terms of the decline of rural Ireland going back quite a number of years ago. We talked about the creameries going. That's a long time ago now. Uh, more recently, we hear a lot about post offices closing. And they talked about up to 200 post offices nationally closing. Those, all of those are huge blows to rural Ireland. I come from a rural parish in East Limerick. In that parish, there now is no post office. There's no creamery. There are no shops where there were previously three shops. There's now one pub remaining where there was three. All of that is part of the lifeblood of the community. It's what brings people together. It's what creates identity. So there are deep challenges for rural Ireland at the moment. Well, we're organising a conference at the end of this month, Building Rural Communities, Lessons from the World of Sport. So Pat Blaney is no introduction. Obviously, we all know him from the world of sport. But he also chairs the Commission for the Economic Development of Rural Areas, Anna May McHugh. What more can we say about Anna May? Over 280,000 people attending the Ploughing Championships last year. We have Michael Ryan, the manager of the senior All-Ireland winning hurling team here in Tipperary from the parish of Upper Church. A very vibrant community that built a whole tourist network around hill walking up there in Upper Church Parish. We have John Hayes from East Limerick, from Capamore, farming background, who learnt his trade on the rugby field in Brough. And finally then we have Padraig Giblin. He has two very successful businesses. He took his lead from the world of sport and developed those businesses in a part of the country that was depopulated and that in many ways was suffering the kind of decline that we've talked about in other parts of rural Ireland. 